What is up YouTube? We are back here to uh, disassemble this HTC One M7. Uh, you can see this is a uh, AT&T version. You can definitely see that this has a cracked screen. Um, <clears throat> first thing I want to say is this is not an easy phone to open and this is not a great tutorial on how to do it. Uh, I wanted to keep it and actually show it to you guys to show you um, how this phone is disassembled. I have never removed the back on this phone before. This is the first time um, I've ever done it. I'm going to use a variety of prying tools, uh, some metal spudgers, uh, I have some cut up uh, gift card, I have another, um, this iSesimo tool, uh, I have a variety of guitar picks, uh, uh, opening tool, I have a plastic razor blade, and uh, an actual razor blade. Um, just because I've read so many articles about how this phone is so difficult to open, and I've done uh, many phones in my time, uh, this is the first one I've ever had an HTC One M7. And like I was saying, that uh, uh, knowing and going through this is, is this is not going to be a great tutorial on how to do this. I can probably find a better way after I've disassembled this first one. But if you've never disassembled a phone or you have and you want to try to disassemble an HTC One, uh, this is a pretty good video to watch as you can see what to expect. Um, if you've ever, this would be my first time ever doing it, so if it's in, you're in the same boat as me, then uh, this might be a benefit for you. I actually have a replacement back here. Um, I'm looking at all of the places that this connects uh, so that I can get a, a good entry point into the phone. Um, just from what I've read about this phone and uh, talked to some other people that have uh, played with it, uh, th this is probably uh, the best way to go about it is buying a new back. Um, it seems like no matter what you're going to do, you may damage the back to this phone is when you're removing it. Um, but really probably after this, I probably have a better understanding of how to remove the back off this phone. Uh, you can see that there's actually connector points all around the back of this phone, um, of the way it, it, it interconnects. Uh, there's four on each side, there's uh, one or two on the top and the bottom of the phone as well. And I'm going to try to use a plastic tool, so I don't want to scuff this. this these black anodized phones are really easy to uh, nick and damage and, and have that uh, silver undercoating come through. So the first thing I'm going to use is just the standard plastic prying tool. Try to get some separation between uh, the plastic and the side bezel of the phone. And I just turn it on. And just try, try to get some separation between uh, the actual LCD uh, portion, the, the front housing here, and uh, the rear housing. Uh, that pry tool is not working uh, in my favor, so I'm going to try this guitar pick here. I usually use these if it's a, a pretty hard phone to open or very slim. These guitar picks are a, a great way to uh, help open devices that are being difficult. Let's try to power back off here. Now, even though this phone is completely shattered, even the LCD is broken, the digitizer still works on it, uh, which is interesting to me because I have fix a couple Nexus 4 and other devices, and once you shatter the screen, uh, that's the end of it. So I'm still trying to get some separation between the front housing, the bezel, you can see there's like a shiny glo a glossy portion of the screen, and then there'll be a, a basically a flat black side part uh, that's plastic. Uh, the bezel portion around the LCD is actually plastic as well. Um, so I'm going to try this razor blade. I actually got a little bit of separation in there. Um, I really truly want to keep this back because uh, it's the the OEM version. The one I have is a just a replacement OEM, but it'd be nice. Now it seems like you're putting a lot of pressure on the LCD. You can see that it uh, distorts as I'm trying to disassemble this phone. And I'm not really concerned about breaking it as it's already shattered. Um, but trying to see when I work on this device with a, 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 a an LC that's okay, how, what can I do to uh, really get into it without damaging anything? That's looking a, a little tricky. Start down here at the bottom. This part seems, actually the bottom seems like the place to go. Uh, got a lot better separation down here. Maybe starting at the bottom would be the best way to do it. I'm using some plastic cut up gift card to see if I can get it in there. I know there's a connector right here on this corner, um, but I'm really having a tough time here uh, getting any separation between the housing and the side. Normally it would just clip off on a lot of other phones where this uh, M7 is put together so tight that it's really really difficult to uh, start to separate. 
Let's try another piece of gift card here. I know there's one right here, but it is being really, really tricky to get into. Seems starting to get a lot more separation. We'll only get uh, plastic tools in here. To be honest with you, I thought by now I would have unsnapped at least one of these, but it is just a real pain. So I'm just slowly sliding my uh, gift guard piece down the back side of the phone. They're trying to get some separation. But it looks like I have to go back to this guitar pick here and the combination of uh, kind of separating it in the middle and then moving my gift card um, or any other plastic tool down kind of the side where that button's at. Uh, then removing it and just kind of trying to pry it in there. What I'm trying to do is push it down far enough to <clears throat> depress the latch um, that holds this little piece in. If I can get this back separated, then I can start moving down the side. Um, but it's really sticking in there. Right where the actual latch is at, um, it looks like um, it just doesn't want to open. Now, I later find out that this is actually glued together. Um, I didn't really read much about that um, actually being ha actually happening. I just heard that it was really tightly fit together and the, had a lot of clips in there. But this particular phone is actually glued um, right around all of the snaps. Um, which I'm not really sure why they would have done that because really snapping this phone together on a case with this many snaps and how snug fit it is, you truly don't even need glue to make this phone uh, fit uh, seamlessly. So still trying to work with my plastic tools. I don't want to give up on them yet. Um, I think that I don't want to damage the uh, anodization on the phone itself. You don't have to worry about the anodization much on the sides of the phone. It's really the top and the bottom where the uh, speakers are at. That's uh, both metal sides of the phone there have the anodized uh, metal and right at the top and bottom, right where that plastic gift card is. That's where you can really damage it with a metal tool. I'm just trying to use this plastic razor blade because um, it's got a very thin edge to really start to separate it and see if I can't make some uh, room down the side of the phone here. Try to use this pry tool to start to separate a little bit more as well. Now I definitely don't want to damage the front of the phone. There's really the only thing I want to replace is the back and the goal is to really truly just replace the screen. Although if you do damage the front housing, they're not too expensive. You can get a, a full housing unit off, off at eBay for like maybe 25 30 bucks. But still, it's more money than you want to fork out if you already just bought a new uh, screen portion as well. We're really just not having a lot of luck trying to get this separated. I'm not making a lot of headway here. Starting on this other corner and see if uh, separating this side uh, helps any at all. You know, it's uh, been a bit, it's been a good few minutes of trying to open this phone to no avail, so I'm going to go ahead and try to use a uh, metal tool to give me more separation right in the middle, then use this gift card to a piece to see if I can't just pop this piece out. Just checking to see if I scratched it, which um, I didn't, although it looks like I might have nicked down here just at the bottom a little bit. So maybe I will just stick with my plastic opening tools. Just trying to push that gift card piece down to hit that snap that's down there, but really truly does not want to come apart. Try to pull it back with this other pry tool I have.
I'm just using this metal pry tool with that gift cart backing. See if that uh, will help me not scratch the anodization there. <clears throat> Try to put a little bit more forceful plastic. These uh, plastic razor blades are pretty tough. You can see right here, you can see how far the plastic bends without well, actually snap decompressing. So at this point, I'm starting to think that uh, something else is happening here that's helping the the, the actual back stay on. I'm going to use this really thin ISS mold tool that I have. Uh, this is a great tool to use. I use it on a lot of phones, usually for removing LCDs. Uh, great to get in thin places. What I'm trying to do is depress it right onto a snap uh, on the side of the phone. Let's check and see if I damage the plastic housing of the LCD, which doesn't look like I did, so I'll continue to use this tool. This tool is really pretty strong for how thin it is, um, but I'm really not making much progress uh, in there. And this plastic bottom piece started to slip out, so I'm just going to try to put this back in here. I got a little bit of separation of that metal tool, so I'm going to keep prying with this plastic pry tool. You can see my frustration starting to grow here a little bit. I keep flipping between the tools that I have, plastic and metal and plastic and metal. I don't truly want to use a metal tool, but it's getting to the point where it's almost ridiculous trying to open this phone. I'm just going to insert that tool in there, really try to uh, push down on the pin that holds it together. You use this metal tool to try to separate just a little bit. Now I have got a little bit of separation uh, between the plastic and the bezel, but it's really, really not wanting to come apart. So I'm just going to try to force this down right on a snap, so we can't get it started. It just does not want to insert. Now one thing to be aware of on these uh, rear housings is when you're using it, it actually steps in kind of like a H um, where it's thin right at the very top of the back and then it gets thicker as you go down. So you'll feel your tool go in and hit a ledge, but you need to get underneath that further in to start to really pry off the back. I'm just moving my tool down the side here and prying away from the phone. See if we can't make some progress. This is definitely bending the plastic on the back of the phone now. <clears throat> Checking to see how much damage is happening. It's not extremely deformed, but uh, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to repairing phones. And I do not want to put a deformed back onto this phone. So we'll just keep prying and inserting my pry tool a little bit further. Try to inspect the phone a little bit. I've heard a lot of people say how difficult this phone is to get into and it, it truly is the most difficult phone I've ever tried to open. Now there's looks like there's feels like there's a snap on this side here as well which I'm going to try to get into. See if I can't get some separation going on this side. It seems like the other side is a little bit easier to get into, so I'm going to work on this one. I'm trying to insert our pry tool and pull away. I'm really going to have to start being a little bit more forceful if I ever want to get this phone open. Now remember, before you actually try to take this phone apart, make sure you eject your SIM slots. 
Definitely don't want that in there. As you do with any phone. And right there, I actually cracked the uh, side housing. So I'm putting my pry tool in and pulling that away. See there you can see the top portion that peeled off. And this is why I realized that the bezel is stepped. So it's thinner at the top and it's thicker down at the bottom. I'm trying to show you that right here. Right where the snaps are, it kind of steps in. So that will tell you that you have to put your pry tool in very deep into this phone get the back off I'm going to pry down here at the bottom see if I can't get some separation here as well Still, with all of that prying, I'm not getting a lot of separation all around the phone, so I'm trying to just use this plastic tool around the anodized metal so I don't damage it. Just keep prying down the side. Starting to get some separation here. See how easy that was to kind of bust through there. Sticking the pry tool in. I'm trying to get as deep as possible and then get some leverage against the back of the phone. Just double checking the LCD frame to make sure that I didn't damage it too much as I was prying. And looking to find out exactly where those snaps are. Just trying to pull it away from the phone. Still not having a lot of luck. Try down here at the corner as well. I slipped and uh, dug myself with one of my tools. It's a dangerous business opening this phone. <clears throat> Still trying to be very careful around the anodized portion of the phone. Starting to make a lot more progress here. Just prying away. I'm sliding my tool down and trying to pry it up. Now, now that I know that this back is actually glued on, uh, I would try to use heat in the future to try to pull this off. That would probably make it uh, a thousand times easier to actually remove the back off the phone. Uh, not a lot of heat because the phone is still plastic uh, around the sides if you're trying to reuse it and just use plastic pry tools. Um, I think the glue is truly what made this such a beast to open. Because even though if I hit the snap and I was moving my pry tool down, glue is holding the bezel on in other places. Here I am prying it away from the phone. See that I'm starting to make a lot of progress here. Now I am prying against kind of the back of the phone, but I'm making sure that I'm only prying in the areas where there's a lot of metal. And I'm not 
trying very hard. All I'm trying to do is get separation between the actual back of the phone and the back housing. Just inserting my tools to make sure that separation, that gap stays there. Trying to be careful around the anodized area still, even though I've uh, already messed up the back housing. I definitely don't want to replace the front housing as well. We made a lot of progress to move this housing. It's taking its uh, sweet time coming off still, though. Even though the one side is unpopped or unclicked from the actual rear part of the phone, it still just does not want to come apart. Like I was saying, I don't want to be this try to be the perfect tutorial on this phone. I just want to show you what difficulties you may run across if you were uh, to try to open this phone for the first time yourself. You can see that it's definitely not the easiest phone to open uh, compared to the other phones that I've done. So remember, if you're going to open this or attempt it, make sure you use some heat. Try to use only the plastic tools, maybe a bank card or some gift cards or, or something of that nature, maybe some guitar picks. You can see that some of the glue snapped away there. I don't have the full front and back and the side off. I can peel it away from the other side. Just checking to make sure there's no uh, actual connectors on the back of the phone attached to the back. So that I had to peel away from the glue on the phone itself. I'm just checking around. The reason why it's very difficult with this phone is you don't want to, when you're prying it away from the sides, the actual clips where the clips clip onto the back of the frame as well are plastic. So you want to make sure you only pry on the metal areas of the back part of the phone and very gently. Now, I'll continue to replace the glass on this phone. You can definitely watch that um, as I remove that. I just want to show you really truly how hard this phone is to open for the first time. So, uh, like I was saying, I'll use a little bit of heat. Now, I'm going to be doing a housing exchange on this phone. So, I'm turning a, a glacial silver to a, a black. Uh, I'll probably try a few different uh, options on that one. Have a lot more success. I'll try to put the link in this video. So, if you want to watch uh, maybe a, a better way to open the phone, you can actually watch that link as well. We'll go ahead and replace the screen on this. Uh, hit the link in the bottom right here for the video to replace the screen. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.